Hey there, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Thanks for watching TCM. We've got more of our lineup of Humphrey Bogart movies. He is September's Star of the Month. Tonight we've got a slate of Bogart crime pictures, and in most of them, Bogie's the bad guy. Robbing, killing, generally being a menace to society. Up next, from 1945, Conflict. The generic title doesn't reveal much, but this is a solid psychological film noir. Bogie plays a married man, an unhappily married man, marking the fifth anniversary to his wife, Catherine, played by Rose Hobart. He has developed feelings for Catherine's younger sister, Evelyn, played by Alexis Smith. Then, and you know now, that kind of thing, falling for your wife's sister, was frowned upon. Humphrey Bogart, well established by 1945 as a likable, if somewhat dangerous, leading man, as a character scheming to get out of his marriage so he could be with his wife's sister was unexpected. Bogart knew it. He didn't want to play this part. He was not interested in playing against type, not after working so hard better than a decade at developing that type and becoming a bona fide leading man. The year of conflicts released, 1945, is a bit misleading. It's accurate, though it doesn't tell the full story. Warner Brothers produced conflict in 1943. Bogart had just finished Casablanca when production got underway. The idea that he might return to playing villains upset him, but Warner Brothers studio boss Jack Warner did not much care, and he forced Bogie's hand, keeping him from starring in Passage to Marseille, a film Bogart had long hoped to make until he completed Conflict. Even under this duress from Warner Brothers Brass, Bogart delivers in Conflict, portraying a man whose paranoia consumes him, turning him into a sweaty-palmed, nervous wreck as his plan unravels. As he was in Casablanca and the Maltese Falcon, Bogart is paired once again with his reliable foil, Sidney Greenstreet. Usually cast as Bogart's shady and sinister counterpart, Greenstreet also gets to play against type in conflict. He's Bogart's best friend, a level-headed psychoanalyst who slowly pulls apart the threads of his pal's nefarious plot. Warner Brothers, as I said, produced conflict in 1943, then held the film for two years, though that had nothing to do with Bogart or his dissatisfaction with the character. A pair of writers sued the studio, claiming Warner Brothers plagiarized their story, leading to a long court battle that kept the film out of theaters. Here it is, from German-born director Curtis Bernhardt in 1945, Conflict. Conflict was not the only time Humphrey Bogart played a man plotting to kill his wife. In The Two Mrs. Carrolls, released just two years later, he schemed to eliminate Barbara Stanwyck so he could be with a younger woman. Oddly, in both of those movies, Alexis Smith played the object of Bogie's affection. While shooting Conflict, which Warner Brothers produced in 1943, two years before it was released, Bogie was also dealing with a tempestuous relationship off-screen. He was married to actress Mayo Methot. The couple's heated alcohol-fueled fights were no secret around Hollywood, where they became known in some circles as the battling Bogarts. By the time Conflict hit theaters two years after production wrapped, Bogart had left Methot for Lauren Bacall, who would become his fourth wife. They got married a month before the film's release and remained together until Bogart's death in 1957. Coming up, Bogart gets perhaps his worst character name ever, Turkey Morgan, as he plays a crooked boxing manager. Kid Galahad is next on TCM.